Thank you very much, Honourable Speaker. My community of Esquimalt has a long and proud naval and military tradition, and that pride is on display at CFB Esquimalt Naval and Military Museum. Located in 19th century buildings at Naden on Canadian Forces Base Esquimalt, this museum informs and educates with displays and exhibits telling the remarkable story of Canada's naval presence on the West Coast, right from 1848 when Esquimalt Harbour began to be used as an anchorage. The museum is part of a national historical district and traces the ups and downs of the Canadian Navy with a series of exhibits from the Navy's formation in 1910 through the turbulence of two world wars, the conflict in Korea, and beyond. It tells the story of the Women's Royal Canadian Naval Service and the challenges of defending Canada's west coast. The museum represents the proud heritage of the Canadian Women's Army Corps, which had its beginnings at the Esquimalt base in 1941. Nearly 22,000 women served in the Canadian Women's Army Corps in the Second World War, paving the way for future generations of Canadian service women and bringing the issues about equality to the forefront. As well as exhibits and displays, CFB Esquimalt Naval and Military Museum houses an expanding archive and library that includes thousands of photographs, documents, histories of Canadian naval vessels, navigational charts, biographies of important leaders in the Royal Canadian Navy, and much, much more. The museum has grown in size and scope thanks to the tireless and dedicated efforts of its staff and volunteers. I hope the members here will join me in acknowledging the importance of their work and thank them for their contribution in celebrating our proud military and naval history. And I sincerely hope that members will take advantage to go to the museum and view the things that they have on display there. Thank you.